no one quite like Pete Dye. He is humble yet proud. Kind of an off shucks kind of guy. He's the most unpretentious, famous person I've ever been around. I've never heard any bad word about Pete Dye unless they were talking about his golf courses being too difficult. He played the game well, loved the game, married a woman that was extremely successful in the game of golf, and they teamed up to become golf course architects that made a great impression to the golfing world. They are a team. He really does depend on her, and she really does know golf. Uh, Alice was an accomplished player, uh, winning some USGA events. She lives, breathes the game. She, she is passionate about the game. She's been a person who can guide Pete in the right direction. And quite honestly, bump that crotchety old bastard back online again to get him thinking in the right way. Most golf architects today are engineers, landscape people. They have drawings, and they pretty much stick to the drawings. And Pete is exactly opposite. Pete always said, if you, um, you show me a golf course that was built by a set of plans, he said, I'll show you a bad golf course. Pete is a true um, artist. He doesn't draw something on paper and hand it to somebody and let them go build it. He, he draws a circle for the green and a square for the tee where he wants it. And that's the first and only time pencil hits paper. And darn if you don't get the most beautiful thing beyond what you've imagined. And that is Pete Dye. He builds the golf course from the ground up. When you break ground is when Pete's genius comes out. He's a dozer head. He gets on his dozer, he goes out and he shapes the golf course. He's painting not by numbers, he's painting by feel. He's hands on. He gets in the dozer and pushes the dirt and visualizes it. He loved being on the ground. Um, in fact, that's where he's probably the happiest. He was bold. Pete was always way out in front of the industry, way out. Pete Dye came up with the concept of stadium golf. He created the ease of the spectator to enjoy themselves watching golf. The stadium course at Sawgrass really has changed professional golf. I don't think there is a green more iconic than the 17th at TPC. Same club, that's a nine iron again. Pete designed the 17th to mess with your head. Simple as that. And it's not a hard shot, quite honestly. It's a big surface area you're hitting to. But that one week, when there's money on the line, when there's prestige on the line, I don't care who you are, there's a little bit of anxiety. There's a ratcheting up of the nerves when you step on that tee. They start thinking about this golf hole as they coming down 14, 15, 16. And time they get here, they make the funniest swings you've ever seen a golf professional make. And they start missing the green. Did I hit it in the water there? Absolutely hit it in the water there. Did I hit it in the water there a lot? No, but once is enough. <laughs> when you play a Pete Dye golf course, you're not playing the ordinary. Pete Dye courses are visually intimidating. They're visually intimidating off the tee, visually intimidating from the middle of the fairway, visually intimidating on the green. What Pete will do is he'll build things to distract you or to intimidate you or to trick you. He's making you think around his golf courses. He's making you play shots to set up the next shot. Pete designs his golf courses for you to use all 14 clubs in your bag. They provide plenty of challenge for, for a tour player, but at the same time, you know, your, your weekend golfer, monthly golfer, they can they can still go play. It's not going to be easy by any means, but they can still go play on the same course that we do. Without a doubt, Pete Dye is the greatest architect. See, I can see the fairway now. No one has forwarded the game from an architectural perspective more than Pete Dye. There's no question. You, you put him up there in um, the list of, of the greats. Come on, I'm going this way. If there's a Mount Rushmore of golf course architects, he's definitely on there. Um, there's no question. I would hope that uh, Pete and Alice both understand that we love them both for what they've been able to do and, and how they've done it with class. 
I think that history will look very favorably upon Pete Dye. He was innovative, he was creative, he changed the game forever. <laughs>